Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Melee, aka Fable Star. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Today we are looking at the AS44 assault rifle from Call of Duty Vanguard. The AS44 is described as a fast firing assault rifle with great for close to medium range. And it's true, great if you want to build it for close range, pretty great for medium range, not so much for far range. Now being a gold guy video, we're obviously going to be taking a look at what you need to do to unlock each of the camo challenges and ultimately get the gold unlocked with this weapon. So let's get into it. Okay, so first up guys, we have pack tactics. For whatever reason, the AS44 only requires 100 eliminations to get this one unlocked, as opposed to the majority of the other assault rifles which require 400 eliminations. But we're not going to moan about that because it makes our lives a little bit easier. Either way, you should be getting the eliminations. You're probably going to be doing more than 400 by the time you get out of the gold camo unlocked anyway, so it really doesn't make any difference. Don't focus on the eliminations challenge because you're going to be getting the eliminations done at the same time as the other challenges anyway, so get the other ones done and then this one will take care of itself. Next up we have Surgical, 100 headshots. Not too bad for this weapon, with a decent sight, you should be able to take them out. You can build this weapon out pretty well with reduced recoil, so there should be no real issues here. My recommendation here is aim for the chest and bunny hop, and you'll get these headshots. Predatory Ambition, 50 multi kills. For this one, two kills or more count between deaths, so obviously if you get one kill and die, it's not going to count. Two kills, that's great. If you get three kills, you're not going to get an extra one for that multi kill. You'll only get the one towards this challenge. So ideally, you want to be getting two or five, because five are obviously bloodthirsters, and that will be another challenge for this weapon. Typically, you'll be getting two kills or more anyway, so you don't really need to worry about this one too much. But if you are struggling, the only recommendation is play a little bit slower. Don't run out into positions the way you're likely to expose yourself to other players and you'll get these ones done no problem at all. Reptilian, 5 kills without dying 30 times. 5 kills are also known as bloodthirsty, so if you get 2, 3 or 4 and then die, unfortunately it's not going to count. 5, 6, 7, 8 etc, you're only going to get the 1 counting towards reptilian. So ideally what you want to be doing is getting the 5 kills and then dying so that your next kill run will count again. 5 kills in a row can be tricky for some players, however typically 2 or 3 are quite easy to get. And once you realise you're at this level, just slow down your play, take your time, make sure you're finding positions with cover, make sure you're not exposing yourself to the enemies uh, so that they can drop you too easily and just focus on getting those extra fourth and fifth kill and you shouldn't have too many problems with this my favorite way of getting these done is to get a uh, vast killing weapon build down go into shipment and you'll be dropping them no problem at all Hey guys, Babel here. If you're enjoying the video or finding it useful, do me a huge favour and like the video, comment on the video. If you want to keep up to date with everything that's going on with the channel, remember to subscribe with notifications on. Back to the video. Next up we have Deadeye, 100 long range kills. Again, not too bad really. You can build this one out with minimal recoil, then jump into Das House, aim down the middle and just keep firing. My recommendation here would to be put on a thermal sight, that way you can see a bit better and get those kills. If the opposition team aren't playing in such a way that you can pick them off there, go to the right hand side of the map and there's another corridor where you should be able to get those long range kills. Alternatively, Dam Yanks is another great map for long range kills. Either take position on top of the church or on top of the little building opposite on the other side of the lake and you should be able to get long range kills all day long. Berserker, 100 close range kills. Here you want to build your gun out in such a way that it has the maximum damage and mobility. Ideally use the smallest maps available. Again my favourites are Das House and Shipman. You'll be getting tons of close range kills and also make use of slide cancelling. And you can also use smoke bombs to cover yourself. Simply run a gun, slide into an enemy, fire and you should be getting those close range kills no problem at all. Next up we have Wildcat, which is 250 eliminations with any 10 attachments equipped. So simply as soon as you've got 10 attachments available for the weapon, bang them on and keep going after the other camo challenges. And this one will get done along with the others. Survivalist, 100 hip fire kills. You also need to have attached the Empress 400mm, 0.30 Russian short 60 round mag and steady. Make use of small maps, smoke grenades and slide cancelling and you should get these done in no time at all. Get the hip fires done along with the close range kills and that way you don't have to go about doing both. 
Mind Games. 100 aim down sight kills with particular attachments equipped. The attachments you're going to need are the Zac 650mm precision, 7.62x54mm 30 round mags, and the Zac 12 a stuff. Once you've got these attachments available, just simply make sure that you've got them selected and then get into a game. You're usually going to be aiming down sight when you're taking on an opponent anyway. Make sure that you've got a decent sight on there, and these will take care of themselves. Finally, we have Death Artist, which is 100 kills while crouched or prone. You also need to have attached the Empress Falkian, or Falchion, however you want to say it, A, the Kovalevskaya, the Kovalevskaya Custom, and Disable. When well, you've got all these equipped, get yourself into a game, and unfortunately, looks like we're going to be doing some camping. A great level for this would be Death House, where you just simply want to crouch or lie down either end of the central corridor and just take your shots. You're probably going to die a lot, but just accept that and just get them done. Just grind them out, and hopefully you should just get this done in two or three games. Alternatively, if you're not much of a camper and you do like uh, running and gunning, slide cancelling does actually count as being crouched, so you should be able to slide cancel into an enemy and take the shot, and that should count towards this challenge. And that is all the challenges required to unlock the gold AS44 in Call of Duty Vanguard and also have it available for Warzone. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, thank you very much for checking it out. Make sure you like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And let me know down in the comments what you think to the video and if you have any advice or tips for anyone trying to complete the AS44 gold challenge. And I'll see you next time.